Hello and welcome to this installment of Wake Up, Grow Up, Show Up. I'm Lisa Ingalls, a board member of the Center for Integral Wisdom, and in this series I'm joining Dr. Mark Goffney, co-founder of the Center for Integral Wisdom, to bring you short teachings from the Dharma that you can begin practicing in your life right now. Welcome to the sixth podcast in our Wake Up, Grow Up, Show Up series. I'm here with Lisa Engels, and I'm delighted to be here. In the fifth podcast, we said that when you awaken as outrageous love, you need to know what's there to do. What does an outrageous lover do? An outrageous lover commits outrageous acts of love. Which outrageous acts of love, we asked. The outrageous acts of love, they're a function of your unique self. What is your unique self? We said very simply, your unique self is the irreducibly unique expression of the love beauty and love intelligence that is the initiating and animating eros of all that is, that lives in you, as you, and through you, that never was, is, or will be ever again other than through you. And as such, as that unique expression of the love intelligence, you have a unique perspective, which fosters your unique insight, which manifests your capacity to give your unique gift, which will address a unique need in your unique circle of intimacy and influence, right? A unique need that can be addressed in that particular way only by you. And that is the unique purpose. It's the unique vocation. It's the unique obligation, unique responsibility, unique joy of your life. And joy is a byproduct, and now let's go on, right? At this moment, we're now adding. We're now going to the next step. Joy is a byproduct of living your unique self. And that's critical to understand. Where does happiness come from? So we like to think about happiness as something we pursue, right? Life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. We run after happiness. Happiness is only attainable as a byproduct of the passionate pursuit of something other than happiness. It's a paradox. What is that? So some say you preserve virtue, goodness, integrity, and those are all correct, but imprecise and the lack of precision, we won't get, we need a precise roadmap. It's not just you pursue virtue, integrity, or, or goodness, which are all obviously great values, but actually happiness is a byproduct of the pursuit of your unique self. Right? Living your unique self right, throws off a natural byproduct. That byproduct is joy. Joy is a byproduct of unique self-loving. That's stunning. Why? So just think about it for a second. Because your unique self, if you try and imagine it, your unique self is like the unique plug at the end of an electrical cord. The electrical cord is generic. Everyone's got the same one. But at the end of the electrical cord, there's a plug, and that plug is unique for every person. You then plug in that plug into the socket, right, which is the energy of cosmos, and you get a complete download of pouring in right, of the unique energy, which is yours. And energy is not generic. There's a unique energy, a unique joy, right, which is available to you. Right? How do you access it? Through your unique self. Right, to plug into reality, as it were, you've got to plug in through your unique self. If you're not living your story, right, if you're imposturing, right, if you're living inauthentically, right, you're not living the unique contours right, of your particular story, right, your specialized idiosyncratic expression of life that was intended by cosmos, right, that is your unique self, then you won't access joy. Right? Joy is accessible and joy is energy. So your unique self is the precise portal right, to your joy, right, to your energy. By living your unique self, you access the joy and energy that you need to commit the outrageous acts of love that are yours to commit. You get that? Right? To commit outrageous acts of love, you gotta be just means you gotta be willing to push boundaries, right? To push boundaries of contraction, to push boundaries of insincere stability, right? To boundaries of you know, smallness and comfort, which don't want you to reach, right, and to actually stretch, right, in order to be able to actually connect your outrageous That energy comes of joy, a sense of aliveness, right? That joy and aliveness comes from your unique self.